So, Dr. Raj, what are sleep studies? I heard about them. Like you take, you do sleep studies and then you diagnose. Yeah. What exactly is that? Okay, so diagnostic protocols are again an integral part of our treatment uh, regimen. Ninety percent of the population snores. Okay, and uh, we have no idea whether that snoring is is it healthy or unhealthy. So, we need to make sure that our diagnosis is correct. Yes, we do look at the patient's mouth and the air and the nasal airway and x-rays and CTs, but we need to know the function during sleep. Do they really clench? How many times they stop breathing? All these are done with something known as sleep study in layman's terms. We normally call it the polysomnograph, PSGs. There are three types. You can do a PSG in a hospital, uh, which would be connection of a lot of wires and everything. but uh, I regularly use those PhDs only for my research purposes because it's tough to sleep. If you need to do a sleep study, you need to sleep. So with all those wires, you can't do that. So what we normally do right now is a home sleep test. We send uh, a technician to your home. Uh, he would connect the two or three wires, that's it. And he would leave. And uh, the next day morning, we would get an entire report as to how many times you've cleansed, how many times you stopped breathing, how many times you've snored. And as per that report, we would know whether that snoring is just a habitual issue which you can live with or whether it's a pathological problem that would leave, lead you to a disease known as obstructive sleep apnea.